In this video, we're going to be continuing our series on how to create a better offense or your own offense in Madden 22. And today we're going to be taking a look at how you can uh, attack our fourth kind of component or real key uh, for success. And that is to attack man-to-man -man coverage. How are you going to attack man-to-man -man coverage? You need to have a plan for it. And in this video, we're going to show you some of the key routes that you need in this year's game in order to be able to consistently attack man to man now if you guys want to get all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks these are completely broken down ebooks that have video tutorials written uh written uh references and setup guides as well as a detailed explanation of why we do what we do if you want to check that out all of my ebooks are accessible via the patreon membership and it's only ten dollars to sign up for that so the patreon link is in the description if you want to get my trips you get all of them you get my doubles my trips my bunch everything but we are in the detroit playbook and we've been talking about a kind of a mini scheme series kind of basing around the play halfback wheel and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at man a man beater out of the place sale dig and what makes this place so good is this tight end whip route and then this kind of like interesting little out route to uh, Johnson over here on the right side. And then you have this deep dig, one of the best man beaters in this game. So there's a lot of things and a lot of different setups that we could use. Most people in this year's game are running a shaded underneath approach to their man coverage. They're really not putting a safety over the top. If you have Hot Route Master, the first thing that I would do is take Circle and put him on a skinny post. Um, and then with the running back, we're gonna keep this fairly simple. Uh, you can leave him on this little, this little uh, route, but what I simply like to do with him is just put him on a quick out route and um, or a quick in route depending on if you want to block your tight end or not if you want to block your tight end then put him on an in route if you wanted if you don't want to block your tight end then you know what you could put him on a texas route if you wanted to or just put him on a simple out route and what's really good about this is this out route these this kind of double out approach is really good for attacking the different types of zones now this speed out to triangle you can take him off of that if you want to um that route is more for you know like a i mean it, it does okay against man but it's not like it, it's not crazy crazy good um you'll see here like when he cuts the outside he's normally going to beat his man but a lot of times the running back can run himself into coverage based off of how this game is played and also just how the press works this year so that's something else that you would just kind of want to like keep in mind uh with this but this tight end whip route is one of the best man beaters this year as you can see right here it's just going to absolutely consistently roast man to man and that's one of the big things that i wanted to get across in this video is you just need to have a plan for man to man coverage like that's all i'm trying to get at here so another thing that you could do with this if you wanted to is if you wanted to highlight your running back route i would flat the triangle receiver and what you'll see here is this route as it already is is kind of a rounded wheel and you'll see that he'll kind of cut inside and it kind of works like a wheel if you want to put a wheel out there you certainly can uh we know that wheel routes in this year's game are really 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 effective um especially if there's a flat route to pull the wheel so you'll see here or to pull the zones for the wheel so something as simple as this is perfectly fine you could do something like this and be very effective you'll see right here the wheel will beat his man coverage and pass lead inside and as you can see it's open another thing that i want to point out about this is a lot of times people will do this they'll take this guy and put him in man coverage on the running back and then they're going to use her this guy that's actually more helpful for us in terms of our wheel route approach and things like that so you'll see here if i was to leave this out route to triangle um you could potentially do that but they're going to kind of run into each other but anyways, as you can see, my running back is wide open. He's beating man coverage every time. Now, I want to go back to what I was talking about in the beginning of the video, where I was talking about how if you are going to want to block your tight end, you might consider putting your running back on this end. To me, this is a great route combo. And if you wanted to put him on a fade, Godwin on a fade, or if you want to put him on a skinny post, those are both really good routes. And then you have this little kind of shallow cross, if you will, to the running back and it's just going to force your opponent to basically have to respect the fact that you can go to either outside 
and then now they're gonna have a we're gonna have a high low over the middle between the dig and the post and so that's what makes this play so good really no matter what they do they're gonna struggle to defend this and you'll see here this little running back route even though there's a zone there i can still squeak in about you know three to five yards um against man to man if i wanted to do that wheel route that i was just showing you i could run the wheel route of course and then i'll show you and of course this is a drop eight man coverage like it's not like you know i mean it's it's a significant um drop a but anyways let me show you something else here so your zig route to the tight end still wide open right here and then now your dig route to this backside receiver is going to be wide open if the user chooses to want to run back with the post route if the user decides that he doesn't want to run with the post but that he wants to kind of sit you know over the middle of the field and maybe they do something like this then what you're going to have is a situation like this where your skinny post is going to be isolated over the top and we know how good skinny posts are but one of the things i also wanted to say about doubles one of the things i've noticed about this formation in particular is i just feel like the skinny posts from this are better um just because of especially if you look at this right side player because he's on the line of scrimmage that's actually really really helpful for his skinny post and so you're gonna see him be successful so now they're gonna maybe drop a purple over here maybe they'll drop a third right here and now your out route should be open to triangle so you know if you wanted to take your running back and just put him on you know anything like I said you could easily put him on a streak if you wanted to just something like this as well this is fine um, if you wanted to really put him on a table route. But the problem with this out route is it's just a little bit shallow. So you've got to kind of plan for that. And so because of that, that's why like I said, you could put the running back on a wheel. You could block him even. Um, this might be a scenario where you put the running back over here and then you block the tight end and you put the running back on an out. Something like this. Really good. It does out leverage the defense for sure. But then you have this out route over here on the left, and then you have this dig coming in behind it based on how you know how they work and how they get open. Another really cool trick that I want to show you today is on the topic of like let's say they're let's say they're gonna send some pressure. So like it looks something like this. They're gonna use her, um, you know, maybe they put this guy in man coverage on the tight end. They're gonna put them uh, this guy in coverage on the running back. And then they're going to kind of use her in the middle of the field. The reason I want to show this is this is one of my favorite little tricks out of this formation. So what we can do is we can take this running back, put him on an out. And then if we want to leave this guy on the fade, we can. We can also put him on a comeback if we want to do that. Or we could put him on a smart routed post or even a smart routed out route, right? You can do any of those things. But what we can do that's really effective is we can motion this guy to the left and we're just going to snap the ball right here and he's going to actually block and now the tight end is going to go out on his little zig which we know gets really good separation so let me show you that again that wasn't a great example of what i'm talking about but let me try to get you a really good one here so again they're going to blitz so they're going to send five and we know how good blocking a tight end is this year for pass protection so what we can do is we could motion this guy here we can snap right here if we wanted to another thing you can do though is you can motion him back and we're going to snap him right about there you know you can kind of mess with the where you snap him um but anyways you know do something like this i don't know why he's he's kind of wigging out on me here but you can basically use this guy as a blocker is what i'm getting at um let me see if i can get the animation to snap the ball i don't know why it won't let me snap it um but anyways so you have you have that ability right there now you could also motion this guy so if you wanted to put this guy on uh leave this guy on his route you could do that uh but anyways that's the idea and then you're going to be able to pretty much pick up pressure so you see how i can pick up pressure then i can get the ball out of my hands to my zig route which i know is a pretty good read uh for man to man so that's another thing that you can do with this play um, in regards to beating man to man and then lastly i want to kind of revisit our base play our halfback wheel play this is one of the best man beating plays in the entire game and the reason why it is so good um, and this is why it's important to have an understanding because you're going to know what you're going to be able to you know throw and not throw but one of the things that makes this this play so good is the fact that you have this wheel of the running back against man to man you're just going to pass lead outside and as you can see he's going to beat man every single time there's not a man coverage in this game that is going to be very uh, very effective at guarding that quick throw like that to the back 
So you have the quick throw to the back. You have wheel a wheel route to your tight end. You've got this backside uh, post to Godwin. And then typically we're just simply dragging this guy. So another thing that this means, and it's gonna be a little bit difficult to show it right here, but a lot of times what'll happen is the tight end will actually get over the top of his man coverage. Um, like I said, it might be not might not be as open because Gronkowski is slower, but you see how he gets over the top of that coverage. So if you have like a Vernon Davis or something like that, where they have just they're just fast, they're like standard, you know, really good speed, they got good route running. That's a read that you can easily throw against the man meta. Another thing is the low ball to the tight end with the aggressive catch. Um, I probably could have completed that. Again, Gronkowski's the worst tight end um, in in Madden 22 practice mode apparently. But you know you can throw these wheels um, against man to man as well. What that does is it shows them that they can't really run this press coverage. So if you're getting off coverage or not pressing, these out routes are so much better when they're not pressing. So if you can force them to get out of a jam, then you're in a really good spot because if they're gonna press us, honestly, we're gonna throw wheel routes to the running back pretty much all game. Like if they're truly set on we're gonna press them, we can throw this in this uh, wheel route to the back literally all game long. We can throw the wheel route to the tight end all game long. Uh, one of the last things I wanna show you is this fade. Um, because you have this fade here on the right, uh, it's just kind of a, it's just something interesting this year about Madden, but basically these stock fades, they just get a little bit better of a release, as you can see. And a lot of times you can get a step. Godwin can't quite get over the top, but a lot of times you can get a step on these um, if you wanted to. So that's another thing that you just kind of tuck away, uh, keep in your back pocket here with this offense. You know, obviously you want to, if you're getting press coverage all game, like one of the things that I really want to say, like you've got to throw the ball up top. So try to hit your, your fades over the top uh, something like this right here because they have to respect that so if you have receivers that are fairly fast that's something else you want to be able to have that deep ball element and, th and that's also why i like this offense a lot because of the fact that we have these wheel routes and, and what these wheel routes allow us to do is we can still get that effect even if we don't have like the world's fastest player we can still kind of get that effect if we have a good tight end or a good running back because the shade underneath coverage is going to really underneath undercut these routes and it's going to leave stuff like this little quick throw to the wheel it's going to leave stuff like that tight end wheel wide open uh, for us to take advantage of so anyways that is part four of our offensive scheme having something in your arsenal something or several plays in fact that you can call upon in key situations uh, to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. This whip route is one of my favorites in the entire game. You can literally build an entire scheme around this tight end whip route uh, with the backside dig. There's so much you can do with this play that I didn't even get into in this video, but have a plan for man-to-man -man coverage. If you enjoyed this video, this is a small example of what we talk about in our Patreon uh, e-guides, what we talk about in our offensive ebooks, our defensive ebooks. And so if you wanna get immediate and unlimited access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, I would really encourage you to sign up for our Patreon. $10 unlocks the whole page, gets you access to over 28 offensive and defensive ebooks. The link is in the description. If you'd like to sign up, just head down there and click on the link down below.